What is up? I'm Moana Turtle. Today we have a Pokemon discussion to be had about these guys, the Unbroken Bonds booster boxes. Shout out to Pokemon Lover 95 who actually dropped a comment um, some like way a week ago, kind of asking like, "Oh, why why is Unbroken Bonds on a print?" And to be honest, I had no idea what he's referring to. Uh, it wasn't until today that I realized that you know it is real. I realized watching a uh, Darium's video. Uh, so we're going to quick switch to our view and actually this news broke uh, a week ago but I didn't pick up on it where Unbroken Bonds is in fact out of print. Um, however, let's not jump to too many conclusions where that just means the Pokemon company is no longer printing it. However, um, the important thing is that distributors still have some. Um, however, I, there are some implications about how long it takes for them to reach vendors and stuff like that. I think I heard somewhere something in July, which there'll kind of be another wave from the distributors to the vendors. Uh, but the important part is that Pokemon Company is kind of like looking at a new production style, which is kind of like uh, vendors kind of put in their pre-orders and then they just make all that and then, then they're done. Then they move on to the next thing. So the important part is that things are out of sale and prices will quickly reflect that. Um, although again, distributors still have plenty according to this. Uh, however, you can see the effects of it. So we'll just go to a couple places that people might buy it. Um, so Amazon 125, super high price. Um, Game Nerds, which is a place where I buy a lot of my product, is completely sold out of booster boxes. When I realized this, I may or may not have bought the last five. Um, and the cheapest price I could find is on uh, an eBay store. I'll put a link in the description uh, to this page um, if you want to pick up. It's 110. But again, there is still plenty of boxes out there. But I do think it's uh, to some degree that once this news is out there, I think from a vendor point of view, oh, I can sell these at a higher price because it's out that no it's no longer being printed therefore we can just sell them at a higher price period um so i i think this 110 maybe the price will go down but uh you know maybe it, maybe it won't maybe it'll just continue to go up so uh if you do want to grab your hands on booster boxes obviously there's still a lot of like collection boxes and pin stuff like that uh that will come out that have unbroken bonds but if you're looking for booster boxes maybe now is the time to grab them uh link in the description down below for this page um and so and then that kind of got me thinking like oh you know if this is kind of how it will be happening going forward uh this is going to be kind of like the new production style um and is now the time to get unified mind boxes where they do have a lot of like pre-sale stuff uh and this is the cheapest i could find i think uh sometimes it is cheaper but um, it did get me thinking, alright, does that mean I need to pick my Unified Minds? Uh, so on eBay, they, they do have a sale for 83 which, yeah, it's kind of awkward to pay for it so far in advance. Uh, but when we think about it, Unbroken Bonds has only been out for just about a month. And the price is already in like, well, the cheapest I can find is 110 but everything else is like 125 Uh, 83 is actually pretty good. That's almost like, <laughs> it's like, um, you know. You, if it, the price grew 50% from, from this price, from this pre-sale price. Uh, obviously, you, you kind of pay for it now and then you won't get it for some period of time. Um, but this does seem to be a reputable seller. And so just to throw this out there, link of this, uh, of this um, page as well down below. So uh, thanks Pokemon Lover 95 for bringing it to my attention. I apologize that I didn't really grasp what you meant right away. And uh, kind of like to, um, we'll, we, we'll, we will crack open this box and open up some packs. Um, even though these guys are getting kind of rare at this point. Uh, so let's get into the opening. So now that I am aware of this news, uh, I feel like I'm going to be kind of like rationing <laughs> my remaining Unbroken Bonds packs. So while we will open up this uh, booster box and get into some packs, I also have two uh, extra packs of Burning Shadows as well as one of these mini tins just to kind of like supplement the opening. So I'm just going to grab six packs from the booster box. And um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. I, I feel like Unbroken Bonds was uh, very popular compared to previous sets. So maybe the demand won't be quite as high going forward, but it's kind of interesting if this is going to be a continued pattern. Uh, kind of makes you think a little bit about how much you buy initially. All right, so here we have the Charmander Farfetch'd, and yep, they're still very beat up. Ah, it's rough. 
a me metallic coin. And then we have Burning Shadows, Fates Collide. So let's start with Fates Collide and work our way forward in time. Or, yeah, forward in time. I actually enjoy XY now. <laughs> so whenever, like, collection boxes and stuff have XY, I don't mind. Alright, let's see. Oh, Wormadam. Kabuto. Loudred. Ah, this art is just, I'm not that familiar with it. Larvitar, Seal, Riolu, Pokemon Fan Club, and then a Grumpig. When did Grumpig get so popular? It's like a some kind of idol. Okay, let's get into Burning Shadows. We all know what we what we are looking for here. Okay, let's see. We got Darkness Energy. Electabuzz, Mount Lanakila, Kiawe. Uh, this card's actually super good right now. Whoa, sorry about that. <laughs> Pampor, Alolan Rattata, Mudbray, Magikarp, Pantsir. Ooh, Reverse Guzma, very nice. And then we have a, ooh, I've been pulling a lot of Darkrai lately. There we go. We already have a hit in Darkrai GX, very nice. And this is like, uh, I don't know, remember, when summer officially begins, but I am feeling it. And it's very strange because um, I go to work and it's like, oh, today's gonna be in the 70s, getting close to the 80s or low 80s. So, you know, may I wear shorts and then it's, my office is like freezing. And then my particular office specifically, I think it's like 60 something degrees. So I'm like freezing in there. Then when I leave my office and I go outside, it's like, oh my gosh, it's, I'm sweating. It's a very strange time for, for me when it comes to uh, temperature. All right, we have a Mudbray, Electros. Ooh, what do we have here? Another one? Oh my gosh, this is a good opening. Electros for the reverse. And then <laughs> I thought it was another Darkrai. Oh man, another GX. We are... Two for three so far, very nice. And oh, and the Cosmo is so cool. I love when he's just like kind of like attacking. Although I, I feel that way more about the Ultra Prism um, Dusk Bane. Looks so cool. All right, this opening is super hot. Just like how I feel right now. My apartment is like 80 degrees because I didn't set up the AC yet. Although I think I'm gonna have to very soon. All right, let's see, Metal Energy. Mount Lanakila again, Wishful Baton, Solrock, Alolan Vulpix, Horsey, a Noibat, Alolan Grimer, Riolu, Pan Sage for the reverse. Can we go another one? Boom! Ooh, Zygarde. Alright, so we didn't quite get the um, another GX, but that's a pretty good hit. I like this card, um, ah, if that, I thought it was a DCE for 80, but nope, it is triple. You can't use triple acceleration for that. All right, on to the potentially scarce now. At least uh, prices might make it seem scarce. Unbroken bonds, and uh, I'm so now I'm like, obviously I was super stoked to pull the Reshizard Rainbow Rare, uh, but now I feel like this will only like make those uh, prices go even higher. Um, and uh, so I've been making some moves lately. Maybe I'll show that in a upcoming exciting mail day video stay tuned for that reverse coughing pretty good the wheezing kind of like stall mechanics are pretty cool and then a alolan dug trio for a regular rare all right let's get at least one unbroken bonds hit so let me know what your thoughts are on this whole situation and again thanks to pokemon lover 95 to kind of bring my attention to it all right let's see fire malane Giovanni's Exile, Duskstone, Santru, Ghastly, Tangela, Venonat, Rattata, a Reverse is it Inke, and then Darmanitan. Okay, just another regular rare. While I'd be a little disappointed if we didn't get anything from Unbroken Bonds, we did strike twice for Burning Shadows, which was awesome. All right, let's see. We got a Fairy Energy, Power Plant. Charger Bug, not bad. Torcat, Esper, Porygon, Darmanitan, or Darmaka, Caterpie, Cottony, a Venonat for reverse, and then very cool art Gengar, but he's just a regular rare. We have three packs left.
Okay, fire energy. Porygon 2. Do Do Trio. Um, Metapod. Alolan Diglett. Zubat. Jigglypuff, a Bell Sprout, a Lolan Diglett with Giovanni, a Aromatus. It's a pretty cool art, not gonna lie. And then this very cartoony golem, which eh, he's okay. All right, come on, let's get at least one hit. And I feel like so far the mini tin has given us just as much as all these extra packs we've been opening and it was like 8 to 2 ratio a Growlithe, Ghastly, Porygon for the reverse Ooh, Blacephalon Okay, that's not bad I think Bla oh, Blacephalon GX is still very good right now uh, I believe it won some tournament very recently. Alright, on to the last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's get something for this scarce unbroken bonds. Oh, what what is everyone freaking out about if we can't get any good pulls from the packs that we have? Raticate. LT Surge's strategy. Also a pretty good card for the um there's things you can play three supporters, so really good for the Reshiram Charizard decks where you play that then you can tag use multiple like welders, which just draws you an insane amount of cards. Um, and then like just powers up your Charizard so you can just you know use its insane attacks Then we have a Geodude for the reverse and then a Sharpedo man. That was That was rough on the unbroken bond side. I don't know why the price is so high <laughs> But I'm glad we did get two hits from burning shadows dark rye as well as necrozma so pretty good opening overall and uh, So thanks for watching um, Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments in the comment section down below do you feel like the price is going to continue to go up and should should we uh buy our make our purchases now or do you feel like because the distributor is holding on to it and then another wave will come out uh my own opinion is that i feel like sometimes this happens with like gas prices too where it's like from the vendor's point of view you kind of have an excuse to raise the prices and as long as like people everyone does that they can all kind of do it together uh since this this information is out there uh but that's just my own thoughts let me know what you think down below um thanks for watching guys uh and um yeah stay cool out there i am i'm sweating uh thanks for watching i'm a wanted turtle i'll catch you guys next time peace